hi uh, welcome to another tutorial of mysql uh, replication uh, so let's discuss so in this topic what we are going to do here is that we will be discussing about different topologies of replication as for now we have uh, discussed that what are replication what are the schemes of replication but now we, we need to know that what kind of replication topologies does mysql support so for the first one uh, i will go with the basic one which is called master and the slave but uh, it's not just about topology uh, you need to understand that uh, what are the basic uh, components involved in your uh, mysql topology and uh, what are the components which are working together and doing all the replication so for this one uh, what i have done is that uh, if you can see uh, the the structure i have in front of you uh, which involves uh, like the master server here okay and then we have the slave uh, here which is called the replica and the master is called uh, the source so what happening here is that uh, as we know that it is uh, an uh, asynchronous replication and only what happens is that the slave connect to the master and uh, the slave asks for the uh, what whatever you have to uh, the master and send it to me so that's how it's working so what we have is that we have an io thread okay and what the io thread does is that it asks the masters the master server then it tell him that please provide me uh, whatever uh, the changes you have so like because the my the slave knows that till this position i have and if uh, it keep asking the master server to provide whatever new changes you have done inside your so uh, so what are your changes you had done uh, send it to me so <coughs> how does sorry for that how does uh, the master send the changes so on the master side we have a bin log uh, thread okay so we have a bin log thread uh, and we have the binary log logs so so that's how it does so the bin log dump uh, thread uh, sends uh, the io okay send uh, send the changes to the io thread and then that uh, io threads uh, like stores uh, all the info inside the relay log uh, which is uh, available at the slave side so let me repeat here again uh, the master asks the master the slave thread the slave thread which is called uh, the io thread uh, asks the master to send me the data and there we on the master side we have a bin log dump thread uh, which send which uh, take the data from the binary log file uh, resides on the master side uh, and send it to the io thread uh, like give it to the io thread and the io thread stored all the information inside the relay log so from here uh, the working of the io threads finishes and then uh, whatever it's brought from the master server to is the relay log then we have another thread which is called the sql thread so the sql threads gets the data from the relay log okay and then it's apply it to the database so that's how the the data comes from the master okay uh, uh, which is asked by the slave and it stores into the relay log of the slave and then an sql thread uh, apply all the changes apply all the sql okay uh, onto the database there are multiple ways how the sql threads applies the uh, the statements to the database uh, which depends how the master is uh, saving the uh, how the master is saving the uh, data inside is binary log if it is statement based binary logging or it is uh, row based binary logging we are not going into that uh, how that works because uh, we will be doing that in the future one so for now uh, this is what i want you guys to understand that how this uh, master and the slave replication is working at the lower level so next i will uh, tell you guys how um, other topologies uh, works inside the mysql uh, replication so see you in the next one